My name is Stanislav Kozlovsky. I am the founder of Teach. I have 17 years of experience in architectural visualization. I'm Autodesk certified trainer. Unreal Shop founder 3D Models Marketplace for Unreal Engine, for game, movie, R, VR industry, and a senior 3D artist in One for All. This company creates 3D content for real estate purposes. Now I'm living in New Zealand. Since the founding of Our High Touch in 2005, I have trained over 6,000 people. In this video, I will talk about my course and give the necessary pipeline for learning the Unreal Engine. Some stages cannot be ignored in professional work. Initially, it seems that everything is very complicated. Still, after going through this workflow several times, you will realize that everything is simple and that what seems complex is no longer so difficult. The learning structure has been tested many times in my work projects. I constantly revise and supplement the course. This is the fourth version. I added over 20 new lectures with updated information in this last lecture. These steps will guide you through the creation of your commercial work. So, the first thing is unit setup. No matter what 3D editor you work in 3ds Max, Blender, you need to set up the unit setup. The second is to create the proper structure. This is a crucial point because the right structure allowed me to develop projects with a $200,000 and $300,000 budget. I can safely say that this is the only proper structure that comes with practice. Points 3 and 4 work in layers. Let's analyze what it is for and how you need to work in layers. Fifth, how the light map works, for which it is necessary to bake the light. Light is a massive block in the course. Of course, we also use lumen, but it does not work in all cases. For example, there is motion sickness, and it is best to use light baking in this case. The ability to bake light will still be needed in the next 5 years. Lumion is a fantastic tool, it also understands in detail, but there are nuances. If you decide to learn Unreal Engine on your own, I highly recommend dealing with light mass, this is a necessary base. In the future, get the base knowledge, and you will understand what works better and where. Normals, the 6 point, due to its specific optimization for games, Unreal only supports those normals that look at you. You can make double-sided material, but this will cut performance in half. And you always need to check, it's elementary, assign an edit mesh to the object. Select the desired polygon and check the show normals checkbox. Seventh, remodeling and separating walls. A common question is whether scenes from SketchUp or Blender can be used. Yes, you can, use Datasmith, a nifty tool, for video, for presentation. Everything must be done carefully on sufficiently large projects. For example, 5 floors, many apartments, 200 square meters each, it is almost impossible to achieve this with automatic tools. If someone says there is a magic button, don't believe it, there is no such thing. You are remodeling walls, somewhere, separate walls. The main idea is that it is necessary, even for Lumen, to separate walls. The light map requires that you have an optimized UV. We remodeled and separated walls and installed a light protector, a box that protects against light leakage. Everything I show is everything that works for Lumen. Lumen works better with split walls. In knife point, it is necessary that the texture coordinates be on the first channel. If the crashing program or the surfaces on the model are black, check it the first texture coordinates channel selected. The tenth is the use of the floor generator. And another kind of optimization is when you remove everything that is not visible. Nothing will ever be seen, delete, and the number of FPS increases. Profit, ceilings, use HSDS modifier, optimize cutouts for lighting windows. Who faced with windows, this is very problematic. Who studies on their own, I will tell you whether it is necessary to either look for a new model or do remodeling. You can look in my marketplace unreal.shop. There are well prepared windows. Because of the specificity, it takes a lot of time for windows and doors. 13th, naming and assigning different color speeds of the process, and you immediately find what you need. I am for productive work, not chaotic work. 14th, triangulation and 3ds Max for Unreal. You need to understand triangulation, and it is also necessary to remove hidden surfaces. For example, if the back wall of the sofa is directed towards the wall, remove it. Detach and attach, group objects, it helps 3ds Max works faster. This also works for Unreal. Sometimes, you need to ungroup everything if you have one large sofa attached. 17th, Unreal accepts IDs, and you need to assign materials and apply them, not just assign IDs. Many resources explain topology and retopology, the course gives you the essentials to work and understand. 20th and 21st, I show in practice how to optimize the bar stool and chair. 22, showing how to work with an unregular mesh. Along the way, I show students work on the course to slightly diversify the presentation of the course.
Part 2. Unwrap Lumen does not solve all problems. You must do a lot yourself. Baking is necessary, as is unwrapping. You need to know both if you want to work professionally. Using Lumen will drop FPS, low FPS, for example. In VR the reason for motion sickness. An unpleasant feeling when using a VR helmet, because the brain misinterprets the low frame count. The FPS in the helmet must be from 140 frames. Preferably 190 or 200. This is still unrealistic to achieve in Lumen or Nanite. Powerful video cards can't cope at the moment. The first point is a more in-depth explanation of light mass. Second, I'm sure it's the best way for unwrapping. I use RISM and some plugins and 3DS Max. The next point, Bridge by Epic does not work very well, but there is a third-party Bridge plugin that transfers everything to RISM with one click. There are different versions for Blender, Maya, and so on. Fourth, installing RISM. Fifth, we do displace and unwrap and prepare the geometry for use with nanite, there are other ways with materials, but this is not always suitable, there are many nuances. We create a displace, make UVs, transfer it to Unreal, and convert it into nanite and Unreal. In the remaining sections, I show in practice how to unwrap walls and armchairs, use existing UVs, we analyze how to unwrap the fabric. It is very convenient to work with objects from Marvelous, there are already prepared UVs. In total, I show four ways how to achieve the result. More work from my students. The course will be very voluminous and valuable. The following section is about creating a project in Unreal Engine. When everything is prepared in a 3D editor, create a project in Unreal Engine, create it empty, without everything superfluous, but templates can also be used. I prefer to start from scratch. Next, I explain how export works and how to re-import. By the way, if we talk about the course, there is a bonus video showing how to prepare a scene in Blender. Here is some more student work from the course. It isn't easy to distinguish that these scenes are made in Unreal Engine. Only by reflections can you understand that this is Unreal Engine. But such specificity of how reflections work in Unreal. It is difficult to create perfect reflections, especially when compared with Corona Renderer. I can say that Corona gives the best reflections to date. Slightly worse than reflection in Unreal is the price for interactivity. Next, a large block of light. I show how it is possible to create the perfect light in Lumen. The light will be good, even if the second channel is not required. After that, you try to work with baking, and after that, you can compare what is best and when it is better to use which method, from personal experience. Baking gives not only optimization but also very high quality shadows. For example, this render was made using baking, and these thin shadows are only possible when baking, at the moment, maybe in 5 years, maybe faster, the situation will change, we'll see. And in Lumen, there will be blurry shadows, there will not always be such counter shadows. If you decide to study on your own, you understand how to work with Lumen, the curators will help you with this on the course, then you deal with baking and choose what you will work with in the future. I show how to work with the native baker plugin and a third party plugin by Liu Xuanz, there are many nuances, but I note that you can work with a third party plugin on non RTX video cards. Next, a very voluminous lecture on the explanation of light. I show and tell how to make realistic light, how light physically works, and what techniques should be used. The sixth point is artificial light and illumination. Before that, I talked about how light generally works, but here are more practical examples. If you are studying independently, I remind you that following the scheme I show in this sequence is better. In this part, I talk about the light using RTX and without RTX. Eighth point, working with down lights. The ninth point, if before that we worked with HDRI and artificial light sources, then I advise you to switch to sun and sky. This is a blueprint, it is very resource intensive, and it is not always profitable to use it. After that, go to HDRI. Next, critical, the background is behind the window. I will show you how to work with it. If you're learning on your own, uploading a sphere and an 8 Kelvin HDRI or an image using a panorama will be enough. I use everything with cube map for commercial projects, load 6 sides of 8 Kelvin, and get 48 Kelvin. The 12th point is the use of presets in the post process. 13th, we correct mistakes, what mistakes can be. These are all updated lectures from points 13 to 20, there are already about 5 hours of new information. 14th, alternative light baking, various techniques and types. 
15. More practical work with light channels. 16. Immersion in the post-process theory. In Unreal Engine, for those who don't know, you can post-process in real time. In the following paragraphs, we practice post-process, troubleshooting, and using megascans. More students work from the course. Note that all styles of work are entirely different. From cold and warm, evening and morning, with the sun, without the sun. I show various techniques, and you already decide what you want to create. The next part is shaders. Often, it is necessary to bake some things when some multi-texture or multi-map is used. The second point is texture optimization. Nothing new and complicated, you need to use a multiple of 2, 32, 64, 128, and so on. This is to save resources and for optimization. Third, the correct use of libraries, no matter what. Fourth, I talk about space screen reflection and then about RTX, working with reflections. And the sixth point is working with planar reflection, also a type of reflection. I recommend that you go in that order. 7. Normal bump, how to generate, how to configure, you can use a bump, but since this is a game engine, it's better to choose a normal bump. 8. Work with materials, change, correct, and so on. 9. You have learned how to work with ready-made materials, correct parental settings, or change already in an instance. I advise, with independent study, to open some simple material, and deal with it, why it was done this way, and not otherwise, how to improve it, etc. 10. I explain how to work with instances, and the 11th point, is with nodes. 12. We create basic material from scratch, I give information on my materials, which I use in commercial projects. You won't need to create it from scratch, you can take my ready-made ones, and despite this, I'll show you how to create a tree material, fabric, and walls on my own how to work with instances, and planar reflection, how to clean up a project from various garbage. Next, create simple metal, plastic and universal material, foliage and emissive materials. More student work. This part is about blueprints, how to package your project into a file that can be played like a game on any device. After this block, you can create ambient sound and work with a fire blueprint. How to work with collisions, sometimes, for some geometry, it is necessary. We analyze which character to use, archbiz or FPS. How to create movement, jump, crouch, how to do zoom, screenshots. How to create a simple menu and a little more complicated. How to convert to blueprint, various interfaces, and tags, and how to trace and tick objects. You will not find some blueprints anywhere, they are only in our course. Some student work. And one more slide with blueprints that you can create on the course. How to change materials by clicking, switching lights, showing the menu with any button, creating an image gallery, closing or opening different doors, turning on and off a TV set, and changing an icon on hover. We show a lot of blueprints, and a lot of tasks can be solved with their help. And the final part, animation. How to render with anti-aliasing, edit and montage with music in DaVinci Resolve, and more. There are a lot of bonuses here, you can see the description on the screen. These bonuses are for those who made the final work. Bonuses, if you count, will come out more expensive than the main course. Of course, the certificate, and feedback from students about the course. All information and how to buy a course in the link in the description and in the pinned comment.